This is a world-class facility. This plant is going to be a new day for our business. The product that we're going to be manufacturing here in Houston is much more sustainable. And from a design standpoint, it exceeds the expectations of the industry. It is a game changer. And we're all very excited about this journey we're embarking on. Baker Hughes, building upon its storied past, leading the way forward as energy transitions into the future. We've been around for over 100 years. Our legacy is well known. Are you working on something new right now? No, we work on something new all the time. We always have something new. We've always been at the forefront of being safe to our employees, safe to the environment, uh, and safe to our customers. We want to continue to be relevant for the next 100 years. That means listening to customers, responding to their needs, and demonstrating a commitment to social responsibility, all while positioning the company for growth. We're definitely walking our talk. Uh, there's been a pretty radical transformation here at, at Baker Hughes and how we think about sustainability. Baker really has a commitment to the environment and to climate change. It's something that we acknowledge and that we are trying to develop new technology to address the situation. Enter the new Baker Hughes flexible pipe product and the new plant to manufacture it. It began with a vision in mid-2019 as part of the Baker Hughes strategic plan to leverage its Houston footprint for national and global growth. The first point that we start looking at was the location of the facility to be a strategic location to support our customers in the U.S. and outside the U.S. international. We were fortunate to have carte blanche in our design and build out of the plant. We were able to look at uh, a drawing and even things as simple as making sure there's adequate aisle space for forklift traffic, for employees to walk through without being exposed to the hazards, all the way to the engineering controls of certain equipment. So we have machine guarding along the boundary of this rotating equipment. In addition to just having that physical machine guard, the machine will physically shut down anytime that barrier is breached. Every bit of detail has been designed with health, safety, and environmental considerations in mind, just to make sure that they have all the tools in their arsenal for them to go home safely. Safety, of course, number one on everyone's mind as the vision becomes reality, and the plant opens in January of 2021. One thing that was really strong on our design concepts was how we can be really fast and how we can be flexible to provide solutions for corrosion and solutions for transportation. Introducing the next generation of composite pipe by Baker Hughes. This will be the only non-metallic eight-inch pipeline in existence in the oil pads. So having something that's non-metallic, it's less energy intensive. Uh, it is, uh, it's more flexible. It also is a cost benefit to our customers and it enables a lot of reuse and recycling. What's exciting about it is the fact that it's manufactured in such an efficient, fast process. The gap of the tape spaces, the way it's controlled, we have a camera that's over there and it makes that control properly. As it's manufactured, there's quality control on the tape that's coming in and as it's applied on the pipe itself. There's a co-extrusion process that we have. So you put out basically two layers of plastic with a tie layer in between. So you can use nylon or other materials that are more compatible with the fluids that are going to go through the line. We've listened. We've listened to the operators over the last several years and they've asked for this. You know, they've asked for ease of installation. They've asked for how do we handle applications with high H2S and CO2. Uh, they don't want to use steel. They don't want to use a, a, a product that can corrode over time. So you have options now as an operator. If you have H2S, you have CO2 you can purchase pipe that is not going to permeate into the environment. And we're the only company that offers that. We're going through the analysis on how our product has a value proposition from a carbon emission perspective versus steel. It's a safer product. It's easier to handle. It's lightweight, so you don't require as much equipment and people on the right of way, which obviously reduces the risks on the operations. Mitigating risk, keeping people safe, building a new plant, creating a new sustainable product, hiring new employees. Baker Hughes doing all of this and more during a downturn 
in the middle of a pandemic. The fact that I've been able to hire people right now, it makes me feel so good because I'm helping, you know? And then on top of that, we're bringing them into a company that really truly cares about them, cares about their safety, cares about our values. Um, it's been amazing. The company also keeping its commitment to increase diversity in its workforce. I've actually seen a lot of support from our leadership around diversity and inclusion. We put forth a lot of educational sessions around diversity and inclusion, around education, around unconscious bias. And when we came forward and said, we wanna talk about these things, our leadership said, okay, you tell us what you need and we will support you. Diversity is a ticket to the game. Inclusion is what we're after. And it's inclusion of thought, it's inclusion of ideas and inclusion of perspectives. And I'm very proud that in our business, the way we even we had the chance to design the product and to design the manufacturing process to be uh, conducive to females working in the plant. This is the shipping and receiving area. I'm the inventory and warehouse manager of the plant. It's exciting to see more women in the workplace doing things that you know, normally you wouldn't think that it would be possible, and it is. We have the 12 foot, the 14 foot, and the 16 foot reels, and they're just, they're massive, they're heavy. And with this particular piece of equipment, you can move one of the reels from place to place in the facility with ease. In her 20 years at Baker Hughes, Candy Cockrum has played a variety of roles. With the new plant and new product now taking center stage, she's more excited than ever about the company's future. From everything that I know of the industry and the products that we're making, there's a market for it and um, Baker Hughes is known for its name and I know that we're going to be a big player in that market. We're also looking to adjacent markets to basically materialize the investment that has been done with the technology that we're developing. Um, we see great potential to bring, uh, you know, Baker Hughes quality standards and the technology that we're putting in the market with the non-metallics offering uh, in industries like uh, municipalities, water, mining, um, power generation, and some others. This plant gives us the capacity to compete with the major competitors in the U.S. It brings the technology prowess that Baker Hughes has, and it puts us on a much more global scene as well. Case in point, the recently announced joint venture with Saudi Aramco. This factory here that we're setting up, we're gonna build something similar there. And the Saudis just decided a number of years ago, we're gonna push for non-metallic substitution as much as possible in our infrastructure. And they want things made in the kingdom, which is obviously to boost the, the local economy, employment and all that good stuff. So we're both putting money in 50-50 partners. This is the beauty of being part of a, of a great company like Baker Hughes, where you have the ability to continue to invest. Invest in infrastructure, partnerships, products, and most of all, people, with programs like Accelerate and Aspire. The fact that Baker has this leadership program and is putting time, money, and energy into kind of the next generation is really what drew me to it. It's fantastic because in two years, you get three different roles. You know, I'm sitting here leading a global sales and commercial organization from one of the growth engines of Baker Hughes. And uh, definitely one of the reasons for that to happen is being part of the acceleration program. I'm uh, a company employee for 16 years. So I'm really proud to be part of that because we value people. Proud people who showed up and forged ahead, determined to stand up a new plant and launch a new product, undaunted by one of the most challenging times in American history. All the challenges that we had to build a plant this way, in this time period, it's, uh, it's make my emotions come because it's really, really a challenge. So we bring the people together. The only way to do that is with a teamwork. That's people. It just makes me really proud to be a part of such a really great company. I mean, it's just amazing the things that we're doing and the sky is the limit for this facility and we're gonna be awesome. We are ready to go with the product that people have been waiting for, and, and we have not stopped. We're an innovative company, period, okay? We don't need any gimmicks and no fancy bells and whistles here. 
We are a technology company. We have been developing technology for um, oil and gas and for other industries for a long time. If we could do that for over 100 years, why can't we develop technology that's going to help us reduce emissions, help our customers reduce emissions and move forward. Move forward and lead the way into a new era of energy. The demand for energy is forever growing. As the oil and gas industry is acknowledging more and more the need to be more efficient and cheaper and cleaner, the need for everyone within the value chain to come together uh, and find creative solutions to, to do that is, uh, is, is manifesting itself. From a forward-thinking partnership, the joint venture with Saudi Arabia is another step in, in the journey of working closer with our clients and with our customers. To a new state-of-the-art plant. This intention here is to build a, a global center uh, within Houston. To the next generation of flexible pipe. We think we'll be the low-cost provider with this product. We are putting the full weight of Baker Hughes behind it, both investment and quality commitment. We believe this will be another step for the oil and gas industry specifically to, to, be, to stay relevant in the long term. The industry and Baker Hughes positioning to power our world for at least the next 100 years.